What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people be asking me about people who passed away in the drill culture. I guess they know I'm a real drill historian. Uh, I've been documenting the culture for a while because I feel like this is a time period a lot of people going to look back on and be like, damn, it's a lot of people lost their life. So I wanted to be one of the ones who documented, you know. Um, a lot of people always asking me about Team 600. You know, that's one of the crews in Chicago that I'm all always being asked about um you know recently news had passed that one of their members 600 boss Mo, ended up losing his life due to gun violence but a lot of people said it was self-inflicted they said that he had an altercation going on with a girlfriend of his that i guess went too far um you know the police is alleging that he killed that girl and then killed himself you know i guess didn't want to face the consequences or something like that allegedly by the police you know his family is claiming that it was dirty shit involved in that you know so i guess they still working on that um i get more news on that i show sure bring it to you but a lot of people always ask me about boss move they say hey truth that's one of the craziest dudes you can feel it in his voice you can instantly see it you know he's one of the guys who always been locked up he was just a wild dude um then you actually know that fbg dutchy actually told the story when i interviewed him about boss Moo kicking him and shit like that uh and he told a story about like inky d and memo 600 so you know boss Moo kind of been on the circuit for a while uh, the crazy part about it, when I got the news about Boss Mood, that kind of threw me all the way off because I actually had a chance to interview him, a phone interview a little while ago on my old YouTube channel that's no longer here. Um, we talked about a lot of things. I actually interviewed him while he was locked up on the on the on the phone, you know. I guess he had a phone inside the jail and he was able to call me and we do the interview while he was locked up, you know. I thought that was pretty crazy that he took a chance to do an interview while in jail, not on the you know, the the, the pay phone or nothing on the phone that he had to be talking loud on it and all kind of shit. I thought that was crazy. But I interviewed him, talked to him. I had a chance to feel his temperament, his voice. Um, I can't tell you how he was because I never met him in real life. But I had an opportunity to talk with him over the phone. We spoke about a few things. I asked him about the drill culture. Uh, he also told me that he was going to get in this rap game, too. You know, I guess things happen. And, you know, I guess something happened in California that resulted in him losing his life. But uh, I actually had an opportunity to talk with that guy. He seemed down to earth. He didn't sound so belligerent and crazy. That don't mean that he wasn't crazy. But, you know, a lot of these guys got a head on their shoulder. Just it be events that kind of wow motherfuckers out, though. But uh, you get a chance. I want y'all to check out this exclusive interview I did with Boss Moo. I'm going to put it at the end of this video so y'all check it out. Keep the donations to yourself. All morning. It's hard out here. You ain't got no time to be taken away from your family and giving it to me. I'm a grown man. I find a way. If you want to support me, it's simple. I'm going to show you exactly how you do it. You pull your finger up like this. You see that like button on your video, on your phone right there by the video? You hit that like button like this. Bing. Guess what happens when you hit that like button? It make my videos grow. And a lot of people be able to see them. I appreciate the love. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Bleh, 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 bleh. Cause I'm trying to keep my head above the wool in this bitch, man. I got a couple more days, man. I'm finna get ready and get up out this bitch. Oh uh, yeah, so you coming home soon? Yeah, I got like I got like seventy some days, like seventy days, seventy five days. Right, bro. How is it? In? How you doing up in there, bro? Everything okay, man? You said what? How you doing up in there? Everything okay, bro? Hell yeah, I'm staying above the wall in this bitch. You know me, I know my six oh shit, on my six hundred shit, man. You know. I don't know if you know, bro, but shit, a lot of people be asking me about you, big homie. When you come home, you gonna do this music shit for real? Hell yeah, boy, I gotta drop my tape ball for A lot of people I, always I gotta, ask me. A lot of people always asking me about you, bro. I wanna know something, bro. Is there, it, it, Do people in there recognize and know exactly who you are? You say, you say they know what? Do, do the people in there exactly know who you is, Moo? Hell yeah. How is it for rappers, bro? I hear a lot about it ain't really safe and shit in there for the rappers. You okay in there? You said what? I be hearing a lot of stories that it, it don't really be safe for, like, Chicago rappers. Is you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. You know me. I'm, you know, I'm a god as war. I'm left. You know, I'm a fucking shark. 
Right, bro. You been paying attention to what's going on in the drill movement. I kind of want to get your opinion on a few things, bro. All right. Bro, how do you feel about the drill movement, big guy? How do you do? Do you feel that that the rappers who in the drill movement representing it right? Man, like my guys here, yeah, but all these other fake ass, stupid ass niggas here, nah, man. But some niggas be living lives and shit, you know. But some motherfuckers be telling the truth, you know. Motherfuckers really doing that shit, you know. Motherfuckers be outside looking in, thinking we ain't really doing that shit. We really be doing that shit. Mm. You know, the violence at an all-time high move, bro. It seemed like every day a couple people getting killed and shit, man. Do you think the violence will ever slow down, bro? Yeah. You think so, bro? You say what? Say it again. I, I, I say you think the violence will ever slow down, bro. It seemed like it's a lot of shit going on in Chicago, man. Do you think Do you think all the killings and shit will ever slow down? Man, Right. Have you bumped into any rappers in there? You said what? Have you bumped into any rappers in there? Did I, did I bump into any rappers in there? Yeah. Right, bro. It, 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 I want to know something from your standpoint, too, bro. Is 600 strong, bro? Y'all together? Because I've been hearing a lot of rumors about it's conflict and friction and shit in between the squad. Is everything all right? Man, y'all know the gang go crazy, man. When we do our thing, we do our thing, man. You know, the shit be on spot news and shit, man. We do our thing, you know? All right, bro. See, what kind of projects you got? Any music that you're gonna be releasing soon? You come home? Hell yeah, man! I got this first day out I'm finna do, man. And then I got this struggle song that I just made. I'm finna do. Oh yeah, I got this letter to the ops that I'm finna do, man. I got a lot of this shit, you know. All right. You do you fucking with people when you come home? You down to do features and shit with my fuckers when you come home, bro? Right. I want to build my own shit, you know? Right, bro. I want to ask you something too, bro. If I get up out of here, big homie.